just playing around here on the messy bench again. Um, this is a something, an idea I'm working on. What I'm in need of is a, a remote control, fairly high voltage power supply, 50 to about 300 volts. And uh, I thought one way of doing it would be use one of these ESP32 uh, Wi-Fi modules uh, to generate a pulse width modulated signal. And then use, this is an incredibly lash up experiment at the moment, but this is a little switch mode boost converter with a, a FET um, diode. Way oversized or undersized inductor and a capacitor for output smoothing. And uh, some blown up load resistors because I got the power ratings totally wrong. They catch fire when I turn it on. But it all works. But to generate the, the, the signals I need uh, to switch to FET, I thought it'd be interesting to try uh, using one of these ESP, uh, ESP32 modules. So I've got this, this generates uh, about 0 to 3.3 .3 volts, which isn't enough to drive the FETs I want to use. I need about 12 volts on the gate. So I've just got a simple little circuit, a couple of 2N222 transistors, uh, which should drive um, the FET to whatever the the power supply is. So I'm trying to run the circuit. The whole, the whole thing will run from 30 volts. So this should stick 30 volt pulses onto the gate of the, the FET to switch it on and make the magic happen. So uh, if we actually look over at the scope, this is what's currently happening. So nothing very much. But if I turn this on, wait for the 32 to boot up. The blue trace is a 100 kilohertz pulse width modulated signal, which goes from 0 to 100% uh, modulation. And the yellow trace is a 0 to 30 volt signal, um, which is inverted and goes from fully on to fully off. Um, currently, the circuit is losing the sharp edges. As you can see, it, it, it's more of a trapezoid or on the, uh, the switch on. So there's some optimization can be made. It seems the, the pulses decay fairly rapidly, but take a long time to switch on. So I need to get that fixed. That'll leave the, uh, the FET in uh, the linear region too long and cause heating. So this is just a quick look at what I'm playing with for the moment. Cheers for now.